What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be cooking with you a spectacular show-stopping dessert, which I'm so excited to finally make. I was researching this plating idea for ages and I just couldn't figure out how to make it. But now finally, finally, I think I know how to do it. So the idea is to make poached pears while preserving their beautiful natural shape and plate them with a little hula hoop made from uh, dehydrated fruit puree, which is actually a long process. It might take us from three to six hours. So we're gonna start from that. I'm using here a variation of different frozen fruits. And ideally I was going for a light colored fruits. So we have a nice light beige uh, hula hoop on the top of our poached pear. And I've already defrosted them in the um, cold water. Step number one would be to blend all the fruits together in a food processor and make a fruit puree. Next, I'm going to pass our fruit puree through a fine sieve, just to make sure that we have a nice and even puree. Step number two would be to take a silicone baking mat, very important, must be silicone, and spread our fruit puree all over it, press it down with a piece of parchment paper and roll it evenly with a rolling pin to make sure that it's all even and very thin. Finally, I'm going to transfer my fruit spread to a baking tray, press it down with another baking tray and put everything in the oven to dehydrate at 175 degrees Fahrenheit for about two hours and it will check if it's ready or not. But it might take up to six hours, so I don't really know, but I will tell you later on in the video how long did it take. And while our fruit puree is in the oven getting dehydrated, I'm going to move on to our star ingredient, main ingredient, beautiful pear. First things first, let's prepare our lemon juice so our pear doesn't get um, oxidized while we cut it and peel it. Next, let's peel our pear and remove the core from the bottom part while also preserving a natural, beautiful shape. Following the previous step, we are going to prepare a syrup in which we are going to poach our pears. And in order to do that, we need to mix together one liter of water, 350 grams of sugar, one tablespoon of cinnamon, and a few drops of vanilla extract. Whisk everything together, bring it to simmer, put the pears inside, and simmer it on low to medium heat for about 20 to 30 minutes until the pears are totally tender. It's also a good idea to put a cartouche like this on the top of your pears, so again, they don't get oxidized and are getting poached evenly. Also, make sure that you turn them around from time to time, and once they are fully cooked, switch off the heat and let the pears cool down inside the syrup. Okay, it's been two hours now, and now we can take our fruit paste out of the oven and shape it or mold it into hollow hoops and then place it back in the oven and dehydrate for another two hours. All right, our uh, fruit hoops are ready. They look like this now and they completely crispen up. So I'm not gonna break this one, but I will show you on the other piece. You see? 
That's exactly the texture that I was going for. So I'm so happy that I finally did it. It's a really cool technique. You can also, like I did the hoops like this, but you can also shape it differently. You can do like a circle and do any shapes you want. It's really cool. Okay, now we are basically ready for our plating. I have my poached pears ready. I have my crispin fruit hoops ready. And I have my biscuit crumbs as well, which I just use regular digestive biscuits and just crumble them. And I also took the liberty to make some chocolate mousse using the original traditional recipe, which unfortunately I did not shoot, but I'm going to write down the recipe in the description below. And if you're interested, check out the channel of my friend, Chef Mike. He's a professional chef and he has a YouTube channel showing different culinary techniques, which are very interesting and are very well explained. I'm going to link it in the description below and he has a video explaining how to make a healthy chocolate mousse. So do check it out. Meanwhile, we're going to do the last part that we need for our plating. We're going to caramelize some hazelnuts. So follow me. Finally, plating. Okay, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this cool video and learned a new technique and you're gonna use it in many dishes. I for sure will and you have no idea in how many dishes I'm going to use it. For today, that's it. I'll see you in the next video.